With the Sith Empire under the false belief that the ancient Sith Lord was in the Unknown Regions, Darth Malgus was free to enact his revenge against his greatest rival, the Sith Lord Adras. Malgus secretly approached his rival's personal estate, using his rage and deep connection to the darkness to propel him over an 8 meter wall, where he easily dispatched three Imperial troopers, sending them crashing hard into a wall of the estate. But Malgus wasn't solely drawing on his years of knowledge with the Force or his hatred for Lord Adras. What drove Malgus was the memories of his former lover Alina Daru. Having recognized that Alina was his greatest weakness, a tool who was exploited by rivals such as Adras, Malgus made the difficult decision to kill her. And in her death, Alina became the Sith Lord's greatest strength, the source of his endless rage and the fuel that ignited the embers of his anger. As Malgus entered Adras' residence thinking about Alina, he felt as though he were residing in the eye of a storm of hate, that he was the force itself and its power churned within him. Thus, Malgus was ready to unleash his revenge upon Lord Adras. In this video expose, I will explain how Malgus eviscerated his biggest rival in the Sith Empire, fueled by the memories of his former lover that allowed him to tap into the power of the dark side that was unique among Sith Lords. Striding through the rooms and hallways of the residence, Malgus called out for Adras, daring the Sith to confront him. Before long, Malgus would get his wish, as Adras stepped through a doorway to challenge him. Malgus immediately pictured the face of Alina, and as he did, it poured fuel on the embers of his rage. However, it was Adras who would attack first, using his force lightning to try to engulf his enemy in its power. But the attack was easily drawn into Malgus' lightsaber, and as the Sith began walking towards Adras, Malgus gathered the lightning in his blade and flung it back at his rival, catching him in the chest and sending him flying across the room. Now it was Malgus' turn to attack. Using his lightsaber, Malgus unleashed a furious series of strikes, which Adras was barely able to parry with his own blade. But what he didn't see coming was a sidekick from Malgus that would shatter his ribs and again send Adras across the room. Still, this wasn't enough to cause Adras to quit. Instead, the Sith gathered a black storm of energy and power around him, and reinvigorated, leapt at Malgus with his blade high above his head. But Malgus was truly unstoppable at this point. Using the Force, Malgus simply ripped Adras from the air and sent him crashing into the floor, completely knocking the wind out of him. Malgus then approached the broken Sith Lord, telling him that he'd been a fool to believe he could challenge him with such a meager understanding of the Force. Yet Adras still wasn't ready to accept the truth, and made one final effort to charge Malgus and save whatever dignity he had left, let alone his life. But Malgus' rage, which by then had reached its apex, was too much. The ancient Sith extended his hand, allowing the rage within him to manifest into blue bolts of lightning that crashed into Adras. Powerful enough to rip the lightsaber out of his hand, the lightning caught Adras and trapped the Sith in a burning embrace of pain and agony. Adras could only scream for Malgus to end the torture, but Malgus wasn't yet done with his enemy. Ending the string of lightning emitting from his fingers, Adras dropped to the ground, his flesh blistered and smoking from the attack. However, still the fight wasn't yet out of Adras, who rose to his feet, pulled his lightsaber to his hand, and activated it as he unleashed an attack of his own that even surprised Malgus. But it was clear the attack was more desperation than a true threat. Malgus answered with a counterattack of his own, forcing Adras back, who having endured so much pain at the hands of Malgus, eventually dropped to a single knee. As Adras made one final lunge at Malgus with his blade, Malgus avoided the strike and severed his rival's arm at the elbow. Having taught the lesson that he wanted, Malgus was now ready to finish it. Deactivating his lightsaber, Malgus again held up his hand, but instead of unleashing more lightning, made a pincer motion with his fingers. Adras tried to use his own power with the Force to defend against the onslaught, but Malgus easily pushed through it and took hold of Adras' throat with the Force. As he tightened his grip around the Sith Lord's neck, lifting him off the ground, Malgus yet again thought of Alina and how she had once been mocked by Adras. This caused Malgus to release Adras from his grip, causing the Sith to drop to the ground. With his rival barely conscious, Malgus lowered himself to meet Adras face to face, telling him that he and his ilk within the Sith Empire had done nothing but weaken it, trading strength for peace. 
And with that, Malgus again used the Force to crush Adras's trachea, killing him with little fanfare before calmly walking out of the private estate. So there we have it, how Malgus completely destroyed a rival Sith Lord. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. Or perhaps follow us on Twitter, at SWReadingClub, for updates regarding the channel. Or support the channel through Patreon, for access to exclusive rewards and discussions. And let me thank all of our newest Patreons who have joined recently, Jasmine G, Max C, Derek N, and Diego. If not for me... For isn't love beautiful?